So it's the most expensive Thanksgiving on record, with inflation running rampant across this country. President Biden declares America's back. Is it really? We'll discuss after the break. He knows what's fact and what's fiction, from big government to cancel culture. The message is clear. Get back in line or get out. Get your weekly reality check. WSJ at Large with Jerry Baker. What's strong with me? I know when I'm ready for a rest day, so I can be ready for anything tomorrow. Find out what's strong with you with Fitbit Sense and Daily Readiness. The more we do with our phones, the more network quality and reliability matter. And only Verizon has been the most awarded for network quality 27 times in a row. That means the best experience with calls, texts, and data usage of any major carrier, according to customers. There's only one best network. The only one ranked number one in reliability 16 times in a row. We are building 5G right. Our country was built on our constitution, our freedoms and our liberties. We better never forget that so many paid a price for our freedoms. Specialist Daniel J. Agami, Staff Sergeant Randy, we are here today to read the names of those died ever since on the war on terror. So many Americans signed up because of what happened on 9-11. And ever since then, another 7,070 gave their lives for our country. In reading the names of all of our fallen, Tunnel to Towers is going to ensure that Americans never forget. My daddy was Casey Clark from a small town. It's really important for a nation to recognize uh, that sacrifice, to say those names out loud, and to bring them into the present moment. In this season of hope, help us to pay off a mortgage a day for these great heroes. Go to T2T.org to donate $11 a month now. With COVID-19 still circulating and the federal mandate now in place, bringing workers back safely is a huge challenge. Vault Health provides COVID-19 testing solutions to thousands of companies with over 10 million tests delivered to date. Vault tracks your staff's vaccination status, tests unvaccinated workers weekly, and securely retains the required data for federal mandate reporting. At Vault, we're working hard to make compliance easy. This holiday, make giving the inspiration for saving. From tossing out the holiday trash to cleaning up your festive feast, use Greenlight to turn savings goals into life goals. Invest in your best investment. Greenlight. When the hands that do the fixing need fixing. When the hands that do the caring need caring. That's a job for O'Keefe's Working Hands. It's America's number one selling hand cream and guaranteed relief for extremely dry, cracked hands. Also available in O'Keefe's for healthy feet. What's your message to the American folks on this Thanksgiving Day? My message is after two years, you're back. America's back. There's nothing we're unable to overcome, Al. President declares that America is back now. We just experienced the most expensive Thanksgiving dinner in history. So now let's go to Republican Congressman from Florida, uh, Carlos Jimenez. You know, he's on the Transportation Committee, but also the Energy Subcommittee. So I, I wanted you to get your take on this. You know, we spent more on Thanksgiving than we ever have. Uh, I'm sure there was a hearty debate at the kitchen table or at wherever table about the money and the amount of money that this cost. You know, is America back? And, and then when did it leave? 
No, I think America's back. America's back to 1979. We've lost the respect of, uh, of the world. Uh, we have uh, inflation going through the roof. Gas prices, you know, are, are going to reach record levels. Uh, we have a border that's out of control. Our supply chain is a shambles, and the threat of China increases every day. So, yeah, I think we're back, back to 1979. Yeah, that stagflation that we saw there. And it took uh, President Reagan cutting taxes as well as the Federal Reserve raising interest rates and slowing down the economy uh, to fix, fix all that. So I want to put your energy hat on for a moment here and listen to former President Donald Trump on this network this morning in an interview with Fox Business. Listen. We had this country going. We had no threats from China. They weren't threatening Taiwan. They weren't sending bombers over Taiwan. Putin was in lining up to take over Ukraine. They all respected us. They, they had great respect or fear or whatever. Now they take a look at Afghanistan, that horrible, stupid withdrawal. I was going to withdraw, but I was going to withdraw with dignity and strength and pride. You look at what that, that, that withdrawal was so bad. The whole world looks at us differently today than they did a year ago. A year ago, they, were, they had great respect for this country. Now they look at us like we're a bunch of wimps. Well, Congressman, do you think the globe now looks at us, uh, you know, as, as weaker than we were under former President Trump? No, oh, absolutely. Look, I started out with, you know, we've lost the respect of the world, and I didn't even see the president, hadn't even heard about his comments. So we're right in sync. We have lost the respect of the world. And again, you know, I harpered, you know, I hearken back to 1979. I was live there. You know, Jimmy Carter, it was, uh, it was horrible. You know, inflation, interest rates, gas prices. Uh, we had hostages in, Afghan in, uh, in Iran. Now we have, you know, Americans trapped in Afghanistan. So, it, you know, it, it's very similar. Similar to 1979, although I do think that President Carter is probably a very happy person now. He won't be known as the worst president the United States ever had. <laughs> now, we're all seeing gas prices. I know you're seeing it in Florida, too. Uh, you know, on this, the, the president announced that he's releasing strategic oil reserves. It amounts to 2.74 days of use in the U.S. Uh, is the perception of the release going to bring down the gas prices? We are seeing oil down today. Uh, or does something else need to be done? No, listen, he needs to stop waging war on our oil production here in the United States. He needs to open up the XL pipeline. He needs to open up uh, the, the leasing of, uh, of the federal lands for exploration of oil and gas. We produce oil and gas here 20 percent cleaner than the rest of the world. And yet, at the same time that he is destroying our energy sector here in the United States, he's asking our enemies from OPEC to produce more. And when they produce it, it's going to be a heck of a lot dirtier than the ones that we produce here. We, we produce clean energy. And so, yeah, that's what needs to happen. Look, I think that oil prices today are coming down, not because of what the president did, but because of this scare from this new variant that we, uh, of the COVID that we see coming from, uh, from South Africa. That's the reason why these oil prices may come down, not because of some two-day release of the uh, strategic oil reserve. Yeah, and, and possibly people looking at maybe the shutdown or another shutdown uh, across the globe, and the demand would then fall off. You know, from the White House, we're hearing, hey, be patient. It takes time. We can work this out. We spend a little bit more. You know, how long do you think voters need to be patient? Look, I mean, it does. Look, these policies are not going to work. Period. You know, you can't have. You know, you haven't. You have inflation at, at 30 year levels, and now you're you're gonna you're gonna be pumping you know trillions of dollars, additional dollars into the economy. That goes against everything we've ever learned about economics, and so it's not going to work. Inflation is going to continue to rise. If the scare from this uh, from this variant subsides, then go, uh, all prices are going to continue to rise. Our supply chain is still in 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 a shambles, and then all these other policies, foreign policy, you know. Uh, policies that he has. The southern border is out of control. And then, yeah, and the President Trump, President Trump was right. We have lost the respect of the world. They don't respect us anymore. And that's why China is threatening Taiwan. That's why Russia is threatening Ukraine and other parts of Eastern Europe, because the world doesn't uh, respect us. They don't fear us, uh, because this president has never shown a spine to stand up to anybody. Representative Carlos Jimenez from Florida, I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. This debate will obviously be ongoing and affect possibly the 2022 elections. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it.